When I was at the University of Florida going into my junior year, uh, we were getting ready to play a rival and I was in the training room. I looked over and I saw some of my teammates putting eye blacks under their eyes and so I started to think, you know, they're like putting their mom's name, different things like that. And so I started to think, I wonder if I could put an eye black and put God bless. And I was like, ah, I don't know. And then I thought of Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I was like, that's an awesome verse for a football player. That's what I'm going to go with. A couple local newspapers wrote about it, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Next couple of weeks, they start selling it at the Gator bookstore on the sides of the street. They're selling Philippians 4.13. Kept wearing it under my eyes the entire season. We get to the SEC championship game against Alabama. We're getting ready to run out of the tunnel. Well, at this moment, I really felt like God was putting out of my heart to change the verse. But I kind of stepped back for a second and realized that if we won, we'd be playing in the national championship and that would be maybe the biggest stage that I would ever get to to change the verse and put something meaningful on there so we were blessed to win in the next six weeks leading up to the national championship game I was contemplating really agonizing over what verse I was going to go with God kept bringing it to my heart and my head John 3 16 because as a Christian that's the essence of our Christianity it's the essence of our hope for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. That's what we believe in as Christians. So I decided that's the verse I'm going to go with. We were blessed to win the national championship and two days after that game I was sitting in Ballyhoo restaurant eating grouper with my mom, my dad, one of my aunts and Coach Meyer. And Coach Meyer gets a call from our PR guy in Florida and he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, bye. I looked at him, I was like, what's that all about? He said, Tim, he just told me that during that game 94 million people Google John 3.16. Like really, how big the God that we serve really is. So many times we put him in a box. The God that loves us, the God that created us, the God that has a plan for us, the God that wrote a poem about your life. He is a big God that wants to do amazing things. And when we just turn around and say, hey, here God, might not feel like a lot. Guess what? He can perform miracles. He can do amazing things. And I really believe the God that we serve wants to do amazing things in us and through us. Well, exactly three years later, January 8, 2012, exactly three years later to the day, we just happened to be playing the Pittsburgh Steelers in the first round of the playoffs. And we were blessed to win this crazy game in overtime. And when we were done celebrating, I changed really quick. And I was going down the hall to do my press conference. And Patrick, our PR guy, steps in front of me. He says, Timmy, did you realize what happened? And I was like, yeah, we just beat the Steelers. We're going to play the Patriots. He was like, Timmy, did you realize what happened? Uh, I could tell he was being serious. So I was like, what's up, man? He looks at me and says, Timmy, this is exactly three years from the time you put John 3.16 into your eyes. I was like, oh really? That's awesome. That's really cool. He says, no, you don't realize. During the game, you threw for 316 yards. Your yards per rush were 3.16. Your yards per completion were 31.6. The time of possession was 31.06. And the ratings for the night were 31.6. And during the game, 90 million people Google John 3.16, and it's the number one thing on all social media right now. And I was just standing in that hallway thinking, God, I didn't know that you were doing anything. He has an awesome plan, and you might not even see what he's doing.